The Rainbow Fish by Marcus Feister promotes the harmful idea that there is only one objective standard of beauty. If one follows the logic of this supposedly admirable novel, happiness cannot be achieved naturally. Those who live up to the nigh unattainable standard have the obligation to give up parts of themselves, while others, the unlucky majority, are encouraged to be bitter instead of learning to be satisfied with their own attributes. At the beginning of the novel, one fish demands a scale from the rainbow fish, noting that he has so many. This fish enviously notes that the rainbow fish's scales are so wonderful because of his low self-esteem. His deep-seated inferiority complex leads him to beg another fish for body parts and to be unaccountably angry when he is reasonably denied. This interaction leads every other fish to shun the rainbow fish, a classic example of reverse bullying. The rainbow fish seeks advice from a supposedly wise octopus and is told that he is morally obligated to share his scales. The octopus assures him that he will no longer be the most beautiful fish in the sea, but he will discover how to be happy. This idea that the author, Marcus Feister, presents uncritically perpetuates the petty belief that those who are gifted must in some way atone for their good fortune. Instead of encouraging people to be satisfied with themselves, it forces them to fixate on perceived inadequacies. Instead of acknowledging the beauty of individuality, The Rainbow Fish by Marcus Feister it advocates conformity, self-hatred, and hostile behavior en masse. As Eric Steinem, an accomplished writer, states, this novel follows the exploits of a fish who is only redeemed in the eyes of the other fish, and possibly the author, once he strips himself of his individuality and essentially pays the other fish to like him. Despite the many problematic themes of the rainbow fish, the sparkly holographic scales and deep watercolor washes make it a visually stimulating must-read for children ages 5 to 8. To read the rainbow fish and other great novels for kids, visit the Free Library of Philadelphia's central location. For critical analysis, please visit the Teen Center on the first floor.